Hi everyone. Popping in. Share a little bit with you this evening. Now usually I don't set up my desk like this. It's usually a mess like this, but I don't set it up like this because I don't usually have my sewing machine out this far. And sadly, I don't have a separate table right now for a sewing machine. So here it is. And I was watching Kim Newberg in one of her videos just recently. It was the one where she was showing her process of making journal cards. And I thought that was really interesting because she showed us some of her trims and things that she uses. And one of the things that she had made was a ribbon that she had made from all her leftover scrap pieces of lace and fabric. And it got me to thinking, so I just got my sewing machine out. And the first thing I did is I went through a bunch of my fabric and cut it down into squares. And I made these little sacks. They're all fabric. And I got to thinking, well, maybe I could decorate on top of these. And that was going to be my plan. And I still may do that, but these are, there's nothing special to them. They're just sewn. So whenever you send them, you would have to put a tie around them like this. But I used some fabric that I found in my mom's stash and just some end pieces. And this is a really cute one with the cat and this is pretty. So I thought I would decorate these and I will probably do these later. And this is actually a piece that was a triangle and I made it so that it could be a corner tuck spot on a page. So I'm going to be making a fabric journal and I'm going to make some of the pages paper and some of the pages fabric and it will be more of a mixed media type and shabby and eclectic. So if you aren't familiar with those terms, Eclectic is basically a mishmash of all different styles. So kind of like a crazy quilt. So that's what I am going to be doing. And this, these little sacks, there are some of them that will probably end up going into the journal. They can be clipped in. They can be... T um, tied in by, um, you can tie them shut and then clip them in or design some type of special clip for them. So I'm excited to work with those and I made a bunch that day. And, um, so that's the story about the bags or the sacks. Then I started thinking about making some cuffs, but with the example of Kim's ribbon, I decided to save some of the off cuts from making the little bags. And I'm not sure if you saw one of my other videos, but I had been fussy cutting flowers out of some different fabrics that I found. So this is the first one I made and it has different fabrics 
and mainly a straight stitch and even a piece of paper in here. And then I put a little loop on the top so that it could be like a tag for a journal. And when I sewed this, I went around the middle somewhat um, with the sewing machine. That's a little bit challenging for me. So um, I didn't do that. Well, yes, I did do that a little bit on the second one. Now the second one is a little bit longer because the flower pieces I had were a little bigger. And I used um, lace and I used some paper <clears throat> and I put a tab on this one too. So what I was thinking for these is these could be like a little bookmarks or just colorful additions to a page. Then I got to thinking about how cool it would be to make some fabric belly bands. So Kim had given me a, a material. It was like a, um, table napkin of sorts, but it has all these little squares that you can cut out the flowers. Well, it had butterflies on it. So I cut out the butterflies and then I cut out this fl flower here. And then I just, instead of sewing around each piece, I just sewed, um, stitched, straight through so that it would look uni more uniform and the back looks much better too which when they're in a journal you're not going to see the back anyway but these i am thinking will be great belly bands and i made a few of them so you could see this one's a little longer and it has the butterfly, some flowers. Um, I don't know how this one ended up longer, but I guess we'll see what we need in the journal we're making. Now this one I think is my favorite because I love the greens and this is a cluster of flowers with leaves and then this is a cluster of flowers with leaves. So I cut this out separately and then added the leaves to the bottom. So these are so much fun because you get to pick and choose what fabrics you want to go on them. Um, like for example, this one has um, this was a dress my mom made me many, many years ago. It has a piece of that in it and some gingham in it. So it has different colors that'll go pretty much with anything. So that is my creation based on look at, looking at Kim's ribbons. Now, when you make these, um, sorry, I have a bunch of junk all over here. When you make these, you need to have a stiffer piece of fabric as your base. So this is, I don't know what this is, whether this is a cotton blend or polyester or what, but it is a little bit stiffer. And I found this beautiful floral piece and I think I am going to leave the selvage and just stitch right over this. But I want some of the green to show because that's going to be the base. And actually, I had a piece of blue here. Let me see how long this blue is. It's not long enough. Mm. 
Okay, we'll just we'll just go with this for now. And then we'll see what we need to add underneath here to make it be a little bit stiffer. It may end up being okay. And you can use whatever stitch you want. If you have a sewing machine that has a bunch of um, cool stitches, by all means, feel free to use them because it adds more interest to your piece. So, I've added this green and I just really, it's such a beautiful fabric. Let me iron this down a little bit. It's gonna drive me insane. Okay. Yeah, I'm all set up for everything here. So I added this green fabric and then I was looking through some of my boxes that I have and I decided I would go ahead and add some lace to some of these because who doesn't like lace, right? So I'm going to add the lace right down the middle and it'll also help to catch that green that Did you need me? No. Okay, be careful. Sorry, that was my husband. He's leaving for the evening and he wanted to say goodbye. So I'm going to go ahead and put in here this lace. And I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom so that it catches on to that green. Now, I just sew willy-nilly, so I don't know if this will end up being this long or if I'll snip off the end. But if I end up snipping off the end, then I have a little cluster I can use. So there's no problem with anything being lost or giving up any of your length or of your design if you use the end for something else. So I have some other strips of um, fabric, like I have this little piece here and I have this orange, which the orange I love, but I'm getting tired of orange. And here is just like a little, little, piece of purple. So I'm going to add this purple in. Not sure how far. So I just kind of eyeball it. <laughs> I wonder where that expression came from. That's funny. I'm just going to Position it with my eye, not worrying about it being necessarily even. Now, this particular fabric is not really meant to be torn. So when you tear it, it curls up and I need to straighten it out as I go. So bear with me just a second. And actually, I'm only going to add a piece to it because that is the coolest part of this project is you don't have to go the whole length with the fabric that you're using. And we'll go ahead and put this little guy on here. It's like a red and black of some sort. I don't know what else I have, so he's going on there. Now this one's a wider piece, and the the lace is underneath, so I'm just going to switch over to a zigzag. 
and put that on since it was a wider piece. Now I'm using a very light pink thread. Um, and the reason being is I don't want the thread to take away from the design of the belly band because I feel like I want the colors and the different fabrics to be the star of the show for this. So I have some of this pretty blue. This is a very, very light cotton. It's so pretty. It's modern, so not anything. I think I bought it probably a couple years ago, so it's not very old at all. And I'm going to go ahead and run it down here so we have the length we need, if I can get it to go on there. Now, I do want to let you know, if you get, um, if you cut yourself a base that's about two inches and you want to glue these pieces on, you can do that. Um, nothing wrong with gluing them on. If you don't have a machine, um, you can hand stitch them on if you like hand stitching. You can um, I'm, I, I don't mind hand stitching, but I'm not, I'm not very, um, good at it and it bores me easily. So like for doing cross stitch and things like that, I don't have the patience cause it takes too long. <clears throat> That's kind of the way I am with beading. I would love to be able to bead, but I think it takes, it takes too long and, um, I would get frustrated because it would take too long. Okay, so here we have this really long piece and I can keep adding fabric and layers of fabric as I want to but for the sake of the video I'm going to show you how I add the ends that way you can try this yourself now in looking at this particular piece. It's definitely too long. So I'm going to cut it right here at this point. And then I'll save this, these three pieces for my next one that I do. So I hope I have some small enough flowers to go on here because a lot of the ones I cut out were bigger than I thought. Here's one. And I try whenever I do this to not leave too much of the leaf part or the flower part overlapping. Although you kind of have to look at it um, like you would like it. So I think that's good. Now, one thing I do for this is I do get a piece of double-sided tape and I just put this in position because I don't want to lose, you know, where I had it. So I'll just put a piece of tape here and then put it on 
and then I can make sure that I wanted to stick up some so it can give it a little bit of length. And then on this side, I think what I'll add, this is pretty, and this is that because covering up that. Okay, let me do a little adjustment here on the cutting. This would also be fun with strips of paper. I haven't tried that, but I'm sure it would be fun. This one's going to have a couple different layers. Let me see if I have any more leaves. I had so many of these cut out and then I used a lot of them for other projects, so. How would the butterfly look right here on top? That looks nice. Now that's a layer of several different pieces. So what I'm gonna try to do with this is rather than use the sticky side tape, I'm going to see if I can just stitch down the middle. Hopefully my sewing machine will cooperate. Oops, put it on a straight stitch. Sometimes it wants to get stuck and I, I don't know what causes that, but sometimes I think I have my bobbin too loose and then I tighten it and then it seems like it's too tight. So I just go with whatever. Okay, so here we go with um, the design for this one. So the design for this one is we have like a cluster of flowers here and leaves, and then we have a butterfly. And then on this end, we have a flower with leaves that's all one piece. So what I will do is I'll I'll sew down all a uh, few of the rows here so it will catch everything and then we'll have this really cool belly band. If I find any other little pieces of something that I want to add on here, I can do that. Like I have some tatting that's in green and white. You know, a piece of that on there would look cute. So there's all kinds of things that you can add to your project, to this project to make it look more interesting. And if you wanted to put, for example, a piece of this orange right here in the middle, that might help those two pieces kind of come together. So, I really enjoyed this project. It doesn't take a whole lot of time. The, 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 the most time consuming would be doing your fussy cutting and then laying out your, your, um, your belly bands, you know, with what colors you want to them to go with, but just a, a really fun and cute idea. And I was thinking how 
sometimes we watch videos and we think, oh man, they're doing this great, wonderful thing. And you think that you can't do something equally as amazing. We should never think that way and just look at our video, look at everybody's videos with an open mind because something they might do may spark your creativity. And I think that's what makes this community the best is that we're willing to share and if you want to try making your own belly bands or markers with your fabric snippets by all means i would love to see them and as always my facebook group is lilac lane livery arts it's always listed at the bottom along with my coffee shop so if you are interested in trying your hand at these either by gluing them or by stitching them and you post your photo under my video on the, my Facebook page, you get an envelope from me. So have fun with this and it's very relaxing. I have had one of the most stressful, like five or six days and could not think of anything that I would enjoy doing right now. And I have piles of stuff that I could use. But when I saw Kim's ribbon and I started making the little pockets or sacks or um, bags, and then onto this, I it just really really help my creativity. So I hope I can do the same for you. And thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great evening. Bye for now.